Shalom everyone, it's Tehila from the Kifar with the first of what I plan to be many lessons focusing on conjugating various verbs. So we're going to look at the binyanim, how to find the roots and how to conjugate them first in the present tense and then eventually we'll get to the past and the future tense. So if this is your very, very first introduction to verbs, I want you to pause and look in the description box and you'll see a link for my video that's an actual introduction to Hebrew verbs. Watch that one first so you can familiarize yourself with the terminology that we're using and just get an understanding about how verbs work and then you can come back to this video where we're going to get really specific with one verb which is to eat and this uh, the binyan of this verb is pa'al or kal so this is the form and that is just the simplest form of the Hebrew verb so that's why we're going to start with this one and we're going to look at it in the present tense so the verb to eat in Hebrew is le'echol, and you see it here with the vowels. Le'echol is to eat. For instance, I want to eat, ani rotza le'echol. Okay, so this is the infinitive. And now to get the root from the infinitive, we have two steps that we're going to take. So the first step is that initial lamed that gives us the to form of the verb. We're going to get rid of that. Now once we've gotten rid of that, we want to check and see if we have the three letters that we need for our root. So we still have an extra letter here. And the second to last extra letter with this uh, binyan will be either a vav or a yod. So what we're going to do in step two is we're going to get rid of that vav or that yod. So with this verb, le'echol, we see that it's a vav. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. And now we have the three letters of our root. So once we got rid of that initial lamet, and then we get rid of that second to last letter, the root of our verb is achal. So le'echol is to eat, and then the root is achal. And we get the vowel pattern from the binyan. So the type of verb that this is, it's a pa'al verb, and you hear that a-a vowel pattern. And so the root also adopts that, that vowel pattern. So it's achal, just like the, the binyan, pa'al. Okay, so now we're gonna use our root to help us conjugate this verb so that we can use it in the present tense. So the present tense in Hebrew has four forms. There's masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, and feminine plural. Okay, and you'll notice that there are three boxes in each row um, to the right. And so each one of those boxes holds each letter of your shorish. Okay, and so we're gonna add um, some additional sounds and letters depending on what uh, form we're using, whether it's masculine singular, masculine plural, feminine singular, or feminine plural. But something that's going to remain constant is the letters of the shorish. So the aleph is going to appear um, in all the boxes to the right, the chaf is going to appear in all the boxes to the middle, and the lamet is going to appear in all the boxes to the left. And other verbs that share this pattern, other pa'al verbs, are also all going to appear in the same way. So even if your shorish is not achal, you might have a different shorish, but you would still put the letters in the order that they appear in these boxes. Okay, and I'll give you some examples so you understand what I'm talking about. So for masculine singular, the vowel pattern is o, a. Okay, so o, a. So we're going to put the letters of our shorish in these boxes and it's going to have an o, a vowel pattern. Okay, for feminine singular, it's o, a, e, t. O, a, e, t. Okay, that's our vowel, our sound pattern. So masculine singular, o, a. Feminine singular, o, a, e, t. For masculine plural, our vowel pattern is o, e, m. O im. Okay, masculine singular, o e. Feminine singular, o e et. Masculine plural, o im. And if you know anything about um, pluralization in Hebrew for masculine and feminine, you might be able to guess that for feminine plural, our vowel pattern is o oat. O oat. Okay, so o e, o e et, o im, and o oat. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert the letters from our shorish into this so we can see what these actual words are. So for masculine singular, we have o chel. Okay, so we see the letters of our shorish and we have the o and the e. O chel. Our vowel pattern is o e, o chel. Okay, for feminine, our vowel pattern is o e et. With the letters of our shorish, it's o chelet. O chelet. Okay, so o chel. Ochelet, o e et, ochelet. O im is our sound pattern for masculine plural. Once we add the letters of our shorish, it's och lim. Okay, from o im, 
with our shorash, ochlim, okay? Ochel, ochelet, ochlim, and now feminine plural, we have oot, so with the letters from our root, ochlot, okay? Ochel, ochelet, ochlim, ochlot, oe, oeet, oin, oot. Okay, so those same sound patterns appear with this verb, all you're doing is adding in the letters of the shorash. From o'e to o'chel, o'e'et to o'chelet, o'in to o'chlim, and o'ot to o'chlot. Okay? So for example, he is eating or he eats, that would be hu o'chel. Hu o'chel. Okay? And if you need a refresher on pronouns, you can find the link to that video in the description box as well. Okay, so this is the masculine singular. Now the feminine singular, she is eating or she eats. He ochelet, ochelet. Okay, who ochel, he ochelet. He is eating versus she is eating. Masculine singular versus masculine, or sorry, versus feminine singular. And then we have masculine plural. We are eating, anachnu ochlim, ochlim. We are eating or we eat. And then feminine plural, hen ochlot. Hen ochlot, they are eating or they eat. Feminine. Okay, so all we did is we added the letters of Ashurash to our vowel pattern. From oe to ochel, oeet to ochelet, oim to ochlim, and oot to ochlot. Okay, so what I want to do is give you a couple of exercises. So using what you learned today, I want you to find the roots of these two verbs that I'm going to give you and conjugate them in the present tense. So you're going to do exactly what we did with ahal, but with the roots that you find from these two verbs. So the first verb is la'azor, la'azor, okay? And la'azor is to help. And the next verb is lishmor. And lishmor is to guard or to watch over. Okay, so you're going to follow the same steps that we did to find the shorish from le'echol, to find the root, and then also follow the same patterns in order to conjugate them in the present tense. And in the next verb video, I'm going to have the answers to these exercises, and we're going to review them quickly before we move on to a new verb. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. To that, let's be out. Um, stay connected. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. I finally got on Twitter. I'm on um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest. If you have questions, feel free to email me. Um, also, feedback. Leave it in the comments below. If you have specific questions about verbs or if you have an idea for a vocabulary video or a specific subject you want me to cover, definitely let me know. You can visit the website anytime, thekeyfar.com. And I hope to see you next week when we're doing our next vocabulary video. So that's all.